This question asks us to factorise fully 3x squared minus 48. Let's first of, all, first of all talk about what we mean by factor. Suppose we have 21. We know it's 9 plus 12. However, 9 does not divide into 21 exactly, so it's not a factor of 21, and neither does 12. So 9 and 12 are not factors of 21. So a sum of two numbers like this will not give you a factorisation of 21. What we need is a multiplying together of two numbers. For instance, 3 times 7 gives you 21. 3 is a factor of 21. 7 is a factor of 21. They both divide into 21 exactly. Let's have a look at this 9 and the 12. 9 is 3 times 3. 3 is a factor of 9. Plus 12 is 3 times 4. 3 is a factor of 12 and so is 4. Now if we look at these two terms added, there is a factor in common between these two terms and that's a factor of 3 is multiplying by 3. So it's allowed to come outside brackets and they're removed. This is removed and we're left with 3 plus 4. And we'll just check backwards. 3 lots of 3 plus 3 lots of 4. Remember when you get rid of brackets because we're going backwards here, you multiply everything that's inside the brackets by that 3. So you get 3 times 3 plus 3 times 4. But this common factor times 3 in both of these two terms can come outside. So it's a common factor that's been removed outside the bracket. And it also works with uh, subtraction too. And suppose we've got 10, we could write that as 25 minus 15. Neither 25 nor 15 is a factor of 10. But each of these numbers, and this difference of two numbers, has a factor of 5. That's 5 times 5. This is 5 times 3. So this 5 factor is common to both these two numbers and therefore can be taken, be moved outside the brackets. That disappears, that disappears outside the bracket, and we're left with 5 minus 3, which is basically 5 times 2, which does give you 10. So 5 is a factor of 10, and so is the expression 5 minus 3. That's a factor of 10. Just as up here, 3 was a factor of 21, and 3 plus 4, this whole term here, is a factor of 21. 7 goes into 21. So in this case, if we look at the 3x squared minus 48, and we think, well, there's 3 times x squared, and there's 3 times 16. There's a common factor of 3 in each of these two terms, so it can come outside the brackets, and we're left with x squared minus 16. This disappears and this disappears, leaving your x squared minus 16. Now you'll notice in the question we've got factorise fully. And this word fully is important. Let's look at the number 195. We can write it as 3 times 65. However, that 65 has factors itself. It's a multiple of 5. We can write it as 5 times 13. So if we were to factorise 195 and just leave it as 3 times 65, we haven't factorised it fully because this 65 has two factors of its own. Is this fully factorised? Well, there's a factor of 3. What about this x squared minus 16? Maybe like the 65, it can be factored further. And it can. It's a difference of two squares. It's x squared minus 4 squared. 
And there is a pattern. If we multiply out the two brackets, x minus b times x plus b, the firsts give us a squared, the outsides give us plus ab, the insides give us minus ab. They cancel out. And the last two, negative b times positive b, gives us minus b squared. So the expression a squared minus b squared, that's a difference of two squares like this. If we go from that result backwards, a minus b times a plus b, this is a factor, and this is another factor. There's two terms that are multiplied together, so they're factors. So certainly this difference of two squares can be factorised into x minus 4 times x plus 4. And we can just check that. We can first x times x is x squared. The outside 2 give us 4x. The inside 2 give us negative 4x, which cancels out with 4x. The lasts give us negative 4 times 4, which is 16, 4 squared. So we've now got a fully factorised expression for 3x squared minus 48. Now one last thing incidentally, this 195 that I talked about, uh, if we have a look and suggest that x was equal to 9, just as an example, 9 squared is 81, 381s are 243. And if we take away 48 from that, we get 195. So this number here is 195 if x is 9. Let's go down to this fully factorised form. We've got 3 times, if we replace x by 9, 9 minus 4, that's 5. Factor of 5. 9 plus 4, that's a factor of 13. And that's the example I gave down here. So this stage, 3 times 9 squared is 81, 81 minus 16, that gives us the 65. So at this stage, 3 times 65, not fully factorised, not till you get down to this stage, 3 times 5 times 13, is it fully factorised. Now the result 3x squared minus 48 equals this expression here, doesn't just hold for x equals 9, it holds for all values of x. But this number example shows you that we are dealing with generalised numbers when we factorise something like this. We could replace x by any old number and the result would still be true. 3x squared minus 48 is always equal to 3 lots of x minus 4 times x plus 4.